Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You know how they say that, you know, if you, that stuff will kill you, like smoking, that'll kill you. I've heard that. Do you eat food? Because <laughs> we look, look have at me. 30, <laughs> I'd rather not, 30 foods you didn't know could kill you. Hmm. You gotta watch this episode. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie, uh, have you had a good week? Everything going oh, good? It's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so far, really good. Terrific. Wanted to say thanks to all of you for the comments that we've received this week on our three videos. We run them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they come out at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern on YouTube, of course. And so thank you very much for all oh, you of mean, your comments. So you mean 9 a.m. specific? Uh, specifically, I mean Pacific. Oh, you, you mean Pacific. Okay. <laughs> Look what's on your face. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you got the... Ah, <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I shoved it right over. <laughs> <laughs> I know you folks don't know what we're doing when we do that. So let me try to explain. On the, the camera that we use, it uses one of those square lockouts on a face. And it always seems to be on my face, so I look like some kind of transformer. <laughs> it seriously does. I know. It's a good look on and you, I though. And I can't get it off of no. me. No. I think maybe if our faces get closer, but I don't want it, so. You know what? Now that I've done this a few times, <laughs> I'm probably going to have to put up a rated R for violence. <laughs> That's what it'll look Mature like. Mature audiences. <laughs> Only. Okay, so today on the program, we have a list of <clears throat> foods you didn't know could kill you. And... Uh, I'll be honest, I've read ahead on this. There's some stuff that really is about to surprise you. It's not good for you to eat these things. First up on our list, mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, not every mushroom is created equal, my friends. Uh, criminy mushrooms might make perfect pasta toppers, but some species contain poisons that can kill. I have seen so many stories in the last couple of years Ow, about sorry about people who are wandering through the forest oh. and they literally stumble. Look, a mushroom. I, I I think I'll eat that. Yeah. Yeah. No. If I found something in the wild, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. If it looked like you know, like a, sp a bowl of spaghetti, mm -hmm. I wouldn't eat it. No. I I get my spaghetti. My wife makes it. I, I'm not eating anything out of the forest. And one other note uh, for, for all of you kids watching the show. <laughs> Both of you. Be careful. <laughs> be careful what kind of mushrooms you eat. Because you could end up, after band practice, watching American Graffiti. Yes. And you don't want that. No. Uh, I, I tell you that for a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Friends asking. Yeah. So the next one, and I love these. Tomatoes. Not a fan. Really? My not wife is not either. She's not a fan of tomatoes. But it's actually, it's the, the juicy red fruit, which tomatoes are a fruit. I don't mm. know if you need, they seem like a vegetable. Right. Uh, contains a poison. Glycoalkaloid uh, is in its leaves, which is known for causing upset stomachs, severe cramping, and anxiety. So steer clear of the leaves and stems. Well, that's uh, not the part of the tomato I eat anyway. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> Upset stomach. Yeah, I get awful heartburn from tomatoes. Really? Severe cramping. Uh, usually just once a month. And anxiety. Yeah, your old buddy has. Uh, old buddy Sweet Lou has anxiety. You bet. I have all three of those things, and I try not to eat tomatoes. My uh, I jack in the box last night. Had an ultimate cheeseburger. God tell you, it really was delicious. No onions. No tomatoes. Oh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm. I, I like me some tomato. What about the onion part? I Onions I'm fine with, especially if they're grilled. That's the only way I'll eat them. Oh, grilled onions. That's the way to eat them. Uh -huh. Yeah. On a burger with bacon and mushrooms? That's the ultimate. Yeah. All right. Next up on the list, rhubarb leaves. Not going to have to worry about this one. No, me neither. Rhubarb might bake up all kinds of delicious sweets, but... The leaves are poisonous, causing breathing trouble, seizures, kidney kidney failure, and in some cases, even death. So avoid rhubarb leaves. 
Kind of looks like celery stalks for those of you that are not yeah. into the rhubarb. I don't think I've ever seen those. I don't go into grocery stores very often, yeah. <laughs> except by mistake, maybe. No <laughs> uh, but I'm not sure I've ever seen that sold in, a, in any of the stores I've gone into. This next one is so common nowadays, at least. Uh, peanuts. Oh, what did you say? Peanuts. Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> yeah. Charles okay. Schultz and his peanuts. Oh, right. Peanuts. Okay, yeah. got it. So when you were growing up, did you know anybody that had that was allergic to peanuts? I didn't even know there were peanut allergies. I didn't either. I had no idea. I, it's really it's a it's a more you know current generational thing. Yeah. And I watched this show called The Doctors mm -hmm. in the afternoon, and it's pretty informative. And one and they don't know why. I mean, a large percentage of kids now are born with peanut allergies. Something along the way, something's changed. Something has changed. Maybe the ingredients of the peanut butter. Well, they this one doctor theorized that because of helicopter moms and what have you, and they sanitize everything, kids don't have an immunity. Okay, this is uh, now you're hitting on something. Yeah, so that was mm -hmm. his theory, and there could be something to it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, but it is uh, most severe absolutely the most severe response to peanuts people get anaphylaxis which causes yes. your airway to you know your face to swell up right airway to pinch right. down mm -hmm. uh, it could you know get la loss of consciousness mm -hmm. uh super dangerous and what happens is people just can't breathe and they they're asphyxiated uh that you, i mean if you see somebody that whose face is blowing up and they may not even realize it at first uh, your face starts to blow up first, and your eyes start to shut a little bit. But they need uh, they need a shot real quick. They need a Benadryl uh, or a, an EpiPen to get past that, or they may not be around. I can, uh, you know, and and my condolences to you if you have a peanut allergy. But uh, in in IMHO, a baseball game is not a baseball game until you got yourself a couple of bags of peanuts. Right. You know. So. Yeah. Wow, if you can't eat peanuts, that's kind of a drag. I, I I can't even imagine how much peanut butter I've eaten over the years. Oh, my God. And how about when you give it to your dog? <laughs> that's the best. That's the absolute best. Oh, and here's a little, um, what do you call these things? Not a life hack, but a pro tip. Pro tip. That's what you call them. Pro tip. When you're washing your dog, you know, you're giving your dog a bath. Yeah. Here's what you do. If your dog doesn't like it, put some peanut butter on the wall that faces away from uh, getting out of the bathtub. Right. So that the dog is facing that way. The whole time, the dog will be licking the peanut butter and licking its lips, <laughs> and you wash that son of a gun as quick as you can. <laughs> and you get out of there, and you rinse the peanut butter off, and you're done. There you go. Out. Gallagher, out. I saw a little uh, thing the other day, and it said, uh, if people who don't know what uh, soap tastes like have never washed a dog. Right. Yes. My dog hates the bath. I was talking to a girl, Ashley, at work yesterday, and she said that ever since her dog was a puppy, she made that dog actually learn how to get into the tub. Oh. So that when she gives the command, get in the tub, wherever that dog is, that dog gets in the tub. That's good. My dog, on the other hand, is a pit bull, and she does what you want. <laughs> she does what she want. Yeah, you're not going to make her do something she doesn't want to do. Hey, she ain't doing it. And the other thing, too, she doesn't listen to me. That dog never <laughs> listens to me. And I proved it with my son-in-law. We were in the garage. This happened just yesterday. We're in the garage, and the door is open. And um, she starts going towards the front to go out. And she's not allowed to go past this line. And so, Bell, Bell, Bell. And my son-in-law goes, Bell, come here. Don't listen to me. Next up on our list of things that you shouldn't eat because they could kill you. And I don't mean to be shellfish. <laughs> you are. I just was uh, by making that stupid joke. Shellfish. Wow. Another thing. I can't imagine. Do you consider crab and lobster to be shellfish? Mm, I think technically they are. Yes, I think they are. And I think I, they're... I'm not sure. Well, you know what? Uh, I know you... You know my friend Greg. Yeah. His wife was allergic to shellfish, mm -hmm. and but they wanted to support the school, so they went to a crab feed. And the very... I see where this is going. The very first time he cracked a, a crab leg, it squirted up and hit her in the eye, and within 
two minutes, her eyes shut down. Oh, my. And so they had to leave the crab feed and go get her an EpiPen shot. Shellfish can inhibit breathing and even be life-threatening if you have a severe allergic reaction. Uh, now, this next one, I wasn't aware of this, and it's they say it's not very common, but potatoes. Some people have an allergic reaction to potatoes, and they have poisonous stems and leaves. Uh, even so, potato poisoning is rare. Most potato-related deaths come from eating green potatoes or drinking potato leaf tea. Is Neither that like low tea? Because uh, I'm trying to find that. I can't seem to find it. They say low tea is, is bad for men. Hmm. I've heard of high tea, but not low tea. That's a testosterone joke. Sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't have low tea either. Yeah, we'll move on. I have no, I have no tea. I, I did have mine tested. <laughs> My mother, no. That's a big bang joke. <laughs> All right, next up. Cherries. Oh. They're not good for you if you eat the seeds, which contain poisonous hydrogen cyanide. Yeah. Cyanide. That's science. That is science. I'm telling you what, don't eat the seeds. Uh, you know what? Apple seeds, I'm not even sure if this is in the list, but apple seeds also have cyanide. So if you... Eat an apple. Let's say you core an apple. I I won't eat an apple just chewing it. We always have a little slicer that we core them. Take the middle out. Take the middle out. Do not give it to your dog. Dogs cannot process cyanide. You could me and you could eat a couple of apple seeds and we'd be fine. Dogs can't process cyanide the way we can, and it's very very unhealthy for. Well, them. I can't imagine really uh, giving a dog an apple. I, I, I'm sure it happens. I, Buster I, will eat them. Buster eats anything. Uh, that's true, yeah. including me. He's a lab, yeah. so he's, um, that's, he's prone. But I remember back in high school, I know that we used to sit around in the lunchroom and people would say, I bet you you can't eat that whole apple. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd eat, consume the whole thing, core and all. You know, I, but I made a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> I once at Taco Bell, I once drank 20 hot sauce. Remember when the hot sauce oh, yeah. came in a little plastic container? Yeah. I drank 20 of them for a dollar. Wow. Because, well, and you live to tell about it. Yes. Uh, I was experiencing the ring of fire the following day, though. <laughs> but, I'll uh, fill in <laughs> to Vernon. But I, I got that buck. Uh, next one. And this, to me, is... It kind of goes without saying. Uh, raw meat and uncooked eggs. All right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. everybody saw the Rocky when he threw a dozen eggs mm -hmm. and just shook them up. And, I did that too. Guilty. Yeah. And oh, bad. Eggs have salmonella. E eggs are terribly, terribly. Eggs bad. Yeah, um. Eggs bad. Make sure you cook your eggs. Same thing with meat. I, I don't. I'm not one of these people that likes my steak when I go to a restaurant. I don't like it rare. They don't like to serve it to you rare. Uh, I won't if it's if I cut into it, and you know, and it's way way too bloody. I send it back, and I don't send much back. But how do you order it? Uh, medium. Okay. It, then that's me, unacceptable. I agree. Yeah, and so I because I just don't want anything rare. But uh, uncooked eggs contain salmonella, like I said, which cause uh, gastroenteritis in humans. Salmonella poisoning can also lead to serious complications such as bacterium, uh, which is when salmonella enters the bloodstream, and that's life-threatening, and people with weaker immune systems are definitely uh, in danger. And we just alluded to that. And a light flame under your meat to avoid any risks. Yeah. Make mine medium. Uh, that's how I order mine. Um, I, I think that in light of recent events with meats being undercooked and lawsuits, etc., restaurants are trying more and more to serve less and less rare uh, steaks. Um, and I think they call it pink. You know? Yeah. Uh, do you want it pink? Uh, and, and I think that's... Now, when I was a kid, my dad liked it very rare. Yeah. And so when he would barbecue, we'd all have to eat that. Yeah, so uh, anyway, well, avoid. And you know what? And there's something you've said about overcooking a steak. I mean, charbroiling char anything, it's that charcoal when you barbecue, is also not that good for you. That's uh, yeah. That's got some carcinogens. 
Do you say almonds or do you say almonds? I'm an almond guy. Almonds, guess what? They're not nuts. They're seeds. Oh, Lord. They may pack in many health benefits, but they're also potentially full of poison. Wow, who knew? Huh. Bitter almonds, while in their raw form, are full of, you got it, cyanide. They need to go through a specialized heat treatment, more than just your do-it-yourself oven roasting, in order to remove all of the toxins from almonds. Who knew? I thought they were so super healthy for you. A can a week, that's all we ask. That's all I ever have. We have probably one of the biggest uh, almond manufacturing plants right here in Sacramento, mm -hmm. Blue Diamond. Yeah. And uh, oh man, they do them in every different God, they, delicious taste they form. Got the best almonds, I know. Oh, that oh. reminds me. Uh, across from Trico and Woodland is a place called Cash Creek Foods, uh -huh. and they cook something different every single day. And so every day we have our doors open, and we can. It comes wafting uh, through the building. It's almost not fair. Well, Pete is one of the guys who's my buddy that works there, and every year they have a phase where they um, do cashews. Ooh, gazette. Thank you. <laughs> um, and he brought in some barbecued cashews. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they were Dang. so good. Yeah. Man. Mm, yeah. Almonds. Uh, now, this next one <laughs> hot dogs. So, everybody knows hot dogs are like stuffed with, oh my God, everything unhealthy you can imagine. You don't want to see them made. No. But the biggest danger of hot dogs is the choking hazard. More kids oh, yeah. choke on hot dogs mm -hmm. every year than anything else. Yeah, they're about the same size as their uh, breathing. Exactly, their mm -hmm. esophagus. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest fatality. But, I mean, man, just what's... If you ever watch what's inside a hot dog, you'll probably never eat one again. So I, I haven't watched that because I, I still like hot dogs. I do too. Although I had two last weekend and, uh, man, the heartburn, it carried on all the way through dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is stone fruit seeds and apple seeds. We were just talking about this. Apples and stone fruits, cherries, plums, apples, pears, peaches, and apricots are nature's candy, but stay away from the seeds as well as the bark and the leaves. They contain amygdalolin, a compound that produces cyanide. Large doses can lead to dizziness and vomiting, increase, increase blood pressure, kidney failure, coma, and even death. I've never eaten tree bark. I don't see myself ever eating tree bark. Uh, when you're talking about trees, many parts are edible. <laughs> uh, who was that, Yule Gibbons? Yes, sorry, that's an old <laughs> reference. Great nuts. Who am I, Dennis Miller? <laughs> no. All right, next up. Next up, elderberries. Ooh, what about elderberry wine? Uh, that's an Elton John song. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Elton John song, uh, elderberry wine. Uh, we love us some berries, and I do love berries. I. I have blackberries that grow wild in my backyard, mm -hmm. and they're a complete, oh my God, they're a complete mess, but I let them grow until I harvest the blackberries, mm -hmm. and then I cut them all down. Yeah. Uh, but I've never had elderberries. Uh, elderberry plant, which is used in medicinal syrups, sodas, and liquors, yeah. can cause a severely upset stomach. Stay away from the stems and leaves. Those again, stems and leaves will get you. Again, the stems and the leaves. Yeah, you Stop with the stems that. and leaves already. Have you ever heard of the puffer fish, Ron? Absolutely. It makes our list of 30 foods you didn't know could kill you. The puffer fish's skin and certain organs contain an extremely poisonous toxin that can even paralyze a human or cause death. Stay uh, away from the puffer fish. Yeah. Uh, now this one... I'm not sure that I've ever seen it. And I, I do eat sushi, but this one is called Sanakji, and it's live octopus. I think I've seen that on menus before. I, th I think I've seen it like on, you know, man versus food or something. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Um, but it's you have to be super careful if you eat live octopus. They have suction cups, and they can stick to your throat. And again, they pose a choking hazard to I bet you. they do. Uh, so you have to chew them thoroughly. And honestly, I don't want to eat alive anything. <laughs> uh, it's just not, not appealing to me. Uh, okay, next up on our list of foods that'll kill you, honey. What? Oh, that's... Honey. Honey. <laughs> honey. Don't, don't honey me. Honey. <laughs> uh, honey, don't do that. Honey, do. 
uh, alkaloids, poisonous toxins are found in this sweet and sticky treat. If honey isn't pasteurized, eating it can lead to headaches, dizziness, weakness, vomiting. Should your erection last longer than four hours, please see a doctor. <laughs> and eating too much of it can be fatal. Be leave it. Be leave it or not. You know what? I have read somewhere that the only food item in the world that doesn't spoil is honey. I think I've seen that. Yeah. So that's that's interesting. Yeah. And what a what a great uh, honey oh, on an English muffin. Oh man. Oh, I'm so hungry, honey. Oh, you know what? They're even better on a KFC roll. Oh yeah. Dang, that's the best. Uh, next one. Kidney and lima beans. Well, you don't have to worry about this one for me. I'm, I'm not a big fan of either. Uh, and they're actually, they're legumes. They're mm. good for you, unless they're prepared incorrectly, which I would probably do. You have to soak red kidney beans for several hours to remove lectins, which can kill the cells in your stomach. That doesn't sound good. And you have to cook and drain lima beans thoroughly to get rid of chemical compound limerin, uh, which can turn into hydrogen cyanide. We're seeing a lot of cyanide out of these things. Yeah, you know, my dad, uh, he loved lima beans, and he used to make a... You know when uh, your parents used to say to you, you got to eat all your vegetables before you can go out and play? Right. That was the vegetable, oh, lima boy. beans. My dad would sit oh, there and he'd man. go, okay, <laughs> I'm going to sit here and wait till you're done. So it starts. Yep. <laughs> Next up on our list of things that'll kill you, tuna. What? Mm. Tuna, you've likely heard about the dangers of mercury poisoning, and that's a big reason why you should be careful of your raw tuna intake, especially for children or pregnant women. Once ingested, it can cause itching pain, high blood pressure, and other dangerous symptoms. I'll be damned. Well, yeah, and I think we've... Uh, who was it? Somebody had... Somebody ate so much tuna that they had elevated uh, levels of mercury... It was a star. I want to say it was Charlie Sheen or Robert Downey Jr. I think it was Robert Downey Jr. And they were told you should not eat sushi more than like once a week. Yeah. Yeah, because of the mercury in, in tuna. That's scary. Yeah. Uh, next up, cassava. Cassava flour has emerged as a popular gluten-free alternative. Uh, Everything is gluten-free. I know. I... You there know. was a, when we were growing up, there was no such thing. No, we didn't even know what gluten is. And you know, it's going to be funny. And I heard a comedian say this, so I can't take credit. But what if a generation from now they find out that gluten is what holds your kneecaps in place? And then we all these kids with sagging kneecaps because they were <laughs> gluten free. Yeah, so that's that's a possibility. We don't know. Uh, but the vegetables, leaves, and roots are rich in cyanide. Yeah, just two roots can carry a fatal dose. Uh, veggies must be peeled and cooked before you eat them. Next up, we just talked about this. Cashews. Gesundheit. Thank you again. <laughs> uh, 30 things that can kill you. Cashews shells carry anacardic acid, which can cause burn your skin and cause an upset stomach. Oh. There's also the fact that cashews must be boiled or roasted before you eat them. In the raw state, they have urushinol, a chemical that can cause poison ivy like rashes or worse death, depending on how much you consume. I think cashews are honestly my favorite type of nut. We get a... Me too. We, we get like a trail mix. Although I do like pistachios. Pistachios are also amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I cashews are just... They're not super hard. They're mm -hmm. a little bit softer. I just really like... And they're bigger. Than I have peanuts. diverticulitis. Oh, yeah. I'm not supposed to eat cashews. Oh. Uh, but every so often, I'm at an AM, PM. Oh, boy. I can't resist. They're good. I can't resist one of them Frito-Lay's sleeves of those suckers. They're just too good. Uh, this next one, bean sprouts. I've had those before a long time ago. I, if you ever go to... Um, uh, Mongolian barbecue. Oh. Bean sprouts is very popular to throw on your Mongolian barbecue. So I'm curious to see what this says. Sprouts are cons uh, consumed raw, like on salads, 
or lightly cooked thrown into a stir fry last minute to preserve the crunch. That means that it's tough to cook out foodborne illnesses. I get it. I see where they're going. Yeah. Uh, e. e. coli, listeria, and salmonella. Uh, since 1996. That's 30... my law firm, by the way, uh, that I use. <laughs> what is it again? <laughs> it's uh, E. coli, listeria, listeria and, and salmonella. salmonella. Yeah. <laughs> since LLC. 1996. <laughs> 30 different outbreaks, some deadly, have been connected to this, to bean sprouts. Who needs bean sprouts? My God. Oh, just, why don't you boy. just go out in front and eat your lawn? <laughs> Seriously. Weeds in the field. You know what? We had uh, chives. Oh, yeah. We, my mom grew chives in our backyard. Mm. And so when we had cottage cheese, we would cut up some chives and throw them in there. On our salads, mm -hmm. cut up some chives, throw them in there. Sure. We, we had chives on a lot of stuff. I bet. And it smells like onions of, when you grow they, them. They are some kind of an onion, actually. Yeah. Yep. All right, next up, uh, raw milk. Grocery store milks are pasteurized. These things can kill you. But some people drink milk straight from the animal. I think they call it a cow. Uh, it's called raw milk, and it's a risky beverage. Wasn't that a movie with Tom Cruise? <laughs> Anyone who drinks it, especially young children, are at a major risk for deadly diseases, including... My aforementioned law firm, E. Coli and Listeria. <laughs> and don't forget Salmonella. Yeah. He's the newest partner. Oh, they let him go. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's terrible. That quick. <laughs> uh, this next one, chili peppers, which my wife will never have to worry about this. You don't eat them? She she won't. Oh. She won't. She can't take anything spicy. I don't eat them either. She, we went, we went for Mexican food the other night and the, the dip, the salsa that comes with the chips one was really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. One was a little bit too spicy, mm. and she ate a little bit of the spicy one. Right. And she started to tear up. Oh, really? If her parents hadn't been there, she probably would have cried. Wow. Yeah, she does not like spicy food. Wow. I, I'm <laughs> not big on that. My wife does make this delicious pork burrito re rest recipe where she does use some um, chili, and I love it. But peppers, I'm going to avoid completely. Well, chili peppers contain uh, this chemical called capsaicin. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Which is what we use OC, OC uh, spray. It actually has capsaicin in it. Uh, it's what makes them spicy, and it's also what's used in pepper spray. Huh, somebody just said that. Uh, consuming a lot, like a dangerous pepper eating contest, can cause your lungs to constrict. Mark Allen does that all the time. Marcus Allen? Yes. Yeah, yeah he does any food challenge. Uh -huh. uh, I know. Yeah. He's good at that. He is pretty good. Uh, you don't want to die, do you? Well, don't eat marshmallows. What, Lou, you say? <laughs> a popular game called Chubby Bunny, that's what the kids are calling it nowadays, yep. uh, requires people to stuff as many marshmallows in their mouth as possible. As a result, two people have died. Uh, that's not funny. And the fluffy sweets are seen as a major choking hazard. They're really, they're the best when you heat them over a campfire anyway. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, with a stick. A real stick. Oh, yeah. But you have to sterilize it. And I don't think you should use a stick. As much as we've read about sticks yeah. in the last 10 minutes. And so next up on our list of the 30 things you shouldn't eat because they could kill you. Unpasteurized cheese. Is that like brie? Uh, I think that would be an unpasteurized cheese. And that's unfortunate because I really like brie. Mm. It takes a, It's an acquired taste. Yeah. Uh, unpasteurized cheese, similar to raw milk. Uh, or raw cheese isn't commercially imported to the U.S. Uh, that includes popular varieties like Camembert. It's the host for deadly foodborne illnesses and bacteria. Ooh, that no doesn't idea. sound good. Well, it must not be brie because we can import. We can that. absolutely yeah. import brie. All right, if you're going to the movies, you know you got to have yourself a big bucket of popcorn. Oh well, it's not so much the kernels that are bad that'll kill you; it's in the bags. They come in. When a chemical that's used in the bag's nonstick coating decomposes, it creates a compound called... <laughs> Buckle up. Here we go. Oh, my God. Look at that word. That's got Perflu seven... or ukinetonic acid. That's the is that the common spelling of that? Yeah, uh, they may. I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> uh, that's acid that has been linked to both liver and prostate cancer. Oh. Not good. Mm, that's nothing to trifle with. Maybe avoid the microwave popcorn. Yeah. Uh, next, 
margarine. You know, they, they need to make up their god dang minds I on know. this. Can't eat butter, eat yeah, margarine. And don't eat margarine, eat butter. Uh, you don't need to fear the fats in butter, but you should watch your margarine intake. Many tubs are high in hydro, uh, hydrogenated oils, which pack trans fats, a.k.a. the bad kind. They increase your risk of heart disease and cancer. Have you had your cholesterol tested lately? Yeah, I get mine done every six months. Uh, and I'm what? good, I'm good. Okay, yeah. Actually, the, my my good cholesterol is too low. So I take a I take a pill to try to raise my good cholesterol, but my bad cholesterol is fine. All right, mine I haven't had checked in a year, but I've got other things to worry about. Yeah. Uh, processed meat, no. Say it ain't so, Willie. Oh, my God. Are we talking bacon? Bacon. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon oi. <laughs> oi. Is keto friendly? Is it keto or keto? Keto. But it's not actually doing your body any good. So, it's my body. It tastes good. According to the National Cancer Institute, meats containing nitrates and um, nitrates have been consistently linked to colon cancer. Look, hmm. you can take away a lot of things. You can take away what? Um, uh, margarine. Yes. You can take away butter. Yes. You can take away eggs, but you are not going to take away my bacon. It's hard to make a good sandwich without bacon. A good hamburger without bacon. Good pizza without bacon. Good breakfast with eggs without oh, bacon. Oh, man. Bacon. You know, my doctor said I needed to lay off... Pasta and breads a little bit. Mm -hmm. I told him, uh, well, that's not going to happen. Those are the two things I like the most. Yeah. So I'd rather, you know, if you're going to do you'd that, rather you, may die. Well just, you may as well just Is kill me. that what you're going to say? You may as well just kill yeah. me. No, we're not going to kill you, Ronnie. We love you too much. <laughs> All right. That brings us to the conclusion of this episode of Foods That Could Kill You. You shouldn't be eating them. No. We hope you found them informational and fun at the same time. Um, if you'd like any more information or if you would like to comment, please do so below. Uh, we'd encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Please click, click the button and click the bell as well. That way you get a uh, notification each time a new show comes out. Those shows are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As I mentioned, uh, 9 a.m. specific <laughs> and <laughs> noon <laughs> leaster. Uh, anyway... Uh, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.